This revision presentation is all about how the Democratic Republic of Congo's government is using foreign aid to try and develop the country. This is by planning to build the world's biggest hydroelectric power dams at the Inga Falls along the River Congo. As you can see, this case study has links to three parts of the exam specification, so it's well worth learning. The Grand Inga Dam is financed from money abroad. It's an example of top-down aid where the government has been given loans from the World Bank and China to try and help the country develop. It was hoped that this development project will boost the nation and its benefits trickle down to all members of society. The World Bank loaned the DRC 4 billion to build the first and second Grand Inga dams in order to help it build a hydroelectric power system to help it develop. A hydroelectric dam is where river water is diverted through turbines to make electricity. The benefits of this method of creating electricity is that it's clean and does not contribute to climate change. Based on the Rostow model we see here, currently the DRC is in stage 2, preconditioned for takeoff. The aim of the Grand Inga Dam was to help move the DRC out of a reliance on primary industries to a more manufacturing economy, which would require a reliable source of electricity. The DRC hoped that the loans from the World Bank and China would help it create these dams to use this source of renewable power. It would generate up to 40,000 megawatts of regular, clean, free electricity. This would be double the amount of the Three Gorges Dam in China. The electricity will be used with the nearby copper industries that currently have an unreliable supply of electricity. The excess electricity would also be sold to South Africa and Nigeria which would raise foreign revenue and help repay the loans off. The DRC government also feel that by building this mammoth dam it will act as a positive multiplier and attract big global TNCs to set up in the DRC, further boosting the wealth and development of the country and moving it forwards. The building of the Grand Inga Dam has however more problems than benefits. 30,000 locals will have to be displaced and made to leave their existing homes and land. They will be rehoused in rural areas not as fertile as they currently live. These people will never see or use any of this new supply of electricity. Economically, the dam has been a disaster. The existing dams that have been built hardly work at the best of times, producing small amounts of electricity. The World Bank now refuses to loan any money out for fear that it's not used properly by the corrupt government. The tide aid offered by China has lots of strings attached, including lucrative building contracts for them, as well as cheap future supplies of electricity to the Chinese businesses located in Africa. The dam will also bring lots of environmental issues. The rainforest behind the new proposed dams will be underwater and lost forever. The hippos and the chimps' habitats will be lost, further endangering them. The existing villages' farmlands will become flooded and lost forever. Overall, there appear to be a lot more problems with building the dam than benefits to the DRC and its people. I hope this presentation about the building of the Grand Inga Dam in the DRC will aid your revision. This screen shows a brief overview of the project along with a typical exam question that might be asked. Why not see if you can evaluate the overall success of this top-down aid strategy to develop the DRC? Remember that if it says to evaluate, you need to mention the good and bad points as well as giving an overall conclusion at the end.